Hello everybody, this is Wizworld 100 and welcome to another episode of Sunday Showcase. And today, the game is going to be... Super Archive, yeah. I know I did a video on it before called Random Crap Summer Games Done While Drinking, but this, this game comes to mind. I haven't beaten it legitimately and just... Well, let's take another visit again and see if I can uh, beat it. All right, uh, I've been trying, speaking about a Sunday showcase, I wanted to know, like, uh, you know, I hope you guys would give feedback more on it. So far, you guys would like to see more of it, and that's good because it lets me play games, uh, play more games. But um, I, I wanted to ask, like, uh, what did you think about the length? Is 30 minutes too long? Because I really wanted to cut it to, down to 20 minutes, 20 to 25, something... Something along those lines, which would be, you know, you know, just long enough to watch, because I think 30 minutes was, like, the max I'm willing to go through. All right, games. Uh, it's not gonna be just, like, you know, Super Nintendo games. It's just, that's what I've been, like, jumping back to. It's kind of like my little safe zone. Like, I have a whole, well, not a, like, a whole bunch of games, but I do have quite a couple of games, and, uh, just leave feedback on, uh, what you wanna see. I think, uh, what I will do is... On my site, LazyWorksCreations.com, I actually got a domain, so that's really awesome. I'll talk more about that later at the end of the month with a, a vlog about that. So, got a domain. I think on my domain, I think I'll have a page where it's the Sunday Showcase page where I'll put a poll of, you know, what's the next game you want to see that's on my list? Or what's the next game on my in my collection that you would like to see me do on the next Sunday Showcase? And, you know... And, you know, I'll look at it, and then next week I'll be like, okay, this one has the most votes. That's going to be the next one I'll be doing. So, you know, you guys can affect the direction this is going. Because, you know, when I do a Sunday showcase, I'm always like, I have so many games. Which one should I play? So, it helps if you guys uh, are able to give some feedback and help uh, give some feedback and guide this uh, series somewhere. So, be sure to check, check it out and uh, do a poll on it. So, until then... Super R-Type. Alright, take two. Uh, insert death montage and weird problem. Oh crap, I forgot the controller. Oh, oh, oh! Fuck! Oh my god, there's so many! I'm also noticing this is kind of lagging a bit. Oh, fuck! Oh, no! Game over! Screw you! No, no! He punched me in the face! What the? I don't get it! I shot so many shots at him before and now it kills him? Dude, what's up with the sound? Let me scrap that for a bit. Switch the level to the hard, cause let's let's try and get far in it. Let's see, what was it? To infinity and beyond. Get ready for outer space. So I have to redo this because apparently there was a weird audio problem in the back where it just like kept screaming at me. But anyways, uh, so this is Super R Type. You may have seen me play this in a video called Random Crap: Summer Games Done Drunk, where I was asked to finish off this one drink. But instead of just drinking, I thought I'd make it fun by having me play this game, and every time I die, because it's very easy to die in this game, uh, I drink, I drink, and it was pretty terrible. But, uh, so this is Super R-Type, it's a side-scrolling, uh, shooter, and this game is notorious for, uh, killing you, for being very easy to die in, and also, oh, and is very punishing, because there are no checkpoints, and every single time you die, you have to go all the way back to the beginning, no questions asked, and which makes the live system really, really pointless since you don't like spawn right on the spawn right where you die or something like that. No, you just go back all the way to the beginning, making the lives really pointless. And I'm pretty sure the continues are infinite, probably to compensate for that. That little battery looking bar at the bottom. Oh, yeah, this game is also uh, not very well optimized, as you might notice it lagging quite a few times. Yeah, there are two charge attacks for that. You got the regular charge. And then you got the second charge, which only lasts for a few moments, or which only you can hold on for a few moments. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this game has infinite continues, making the lives pointless since you always have to keep starting back from the beginning. And now we're at the first boss, which I died an embarrassingly long amount of time. Oh, God damn it. 
I think I figured out how the second charge beam works. It does the, the most damage when you blast it, like, at point blank and not have it, like, scatter out. So that's the first death, and you, you wouldn't believe how much fun I had going through all this again. This is why this game is also really annoying. Although it's also kind of a double-edged sword, though. On one hand, it sends you really far back. But on the other hand, it lets you collect your power-ups. Or at least, you know, whatever power-ups is in that level. Oh yeah, every, I'm just gonna like jump back to the boss fight, so I'm gonna tr attempt to not say anything informative on uh, this part. On uh, like a level on the parts that I've already done. Just to save some time. By the way, this game has good music, so at least on the very... At least you got something nice to listen to. Oh, come on! Why did you hit me? Oh my god! Oh, in the first take, I, I made it to the second level, but... No! Audio problem! This game just hates everyone. Super r not. Here we are, back again, my friends. Oh, god damn it. Oh, it's too far. Fuck. Oh boy! Here we go again! Sick controls to outer space now Dying faster than ever before Wiz War in space Go Wiz War! Go Wiz War! Go Wiz War! Fight! 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 Die! Come on, you one-eyed fucker. And suddenly I just beat him! I don't get it! I don't get it! So finally I made it to the second level on hard. Oh yeah, and I, I presumably they have less health on the lower difficulties. But I don't get it. I just don't get it. Wizard does not get it. That is not the smartest move. Oh, so slick. So slick. I, I found... I, I, oh, the hitbox is kind of precise, but at the same time, not really. Like, it's just precise enough that I can avoid shots like that, but outside of that, nope. Alright, so we're shooting stuff. Oh yeah, now that I have upgraded my helper, who, uh, when you first get him, he can't, he can't really do much, but once you've, uh, picked up some upgrades for him, he can actually protect you from your back. And that's not the only power-ups. Now we're already at our max power-up, which is, uh, on a shoot-em-up scale, that's good, because you don't have to collect, like, 50 million power-ups to be at your most... Powerful. In fact, you don't even need power ups, which is uh, probably one of the things that is worth mentioning about this. Because you technically already have the most powerful uh, weapon in hand, your charge beam. But of course, to enable higher survival rates, I am I grab these power ups. Oh yeah, you can't shoot your attack if you're charging your beam. Makes sense. Well, makes sense in the sense that it's uh, reasonable. All right, now that I'm faster than before. Hopefully I don't brain myself. Another space bunny here, if you don't haven't noticed that hole up there. Put these guys in the back. I gotta say, that is one unique thing about this game is that you can defend is you can shoot behind you. So here's the second boss. Please don't be a bitch. You, this looks like something you'd see in like the second to final boss. You can only hurt him when he's in that phase. Fuck! Hey, well, I'm back here again! What a wonderful life! This game, I just want to like give the give the hell up on because it's just like, my God, it's like one tiny mistake, and it's and it acts like your 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 uh, mom, where it's like, uh, oh, you didn't clean that one fork in the dish, therefore you did not clean any of the dishes in the in the in the in the washer. I mean, this game might as well have been called Your Mom. You didn't wash the dishes. Fuck! It lags so much. Oh, well, they were like way better. Well, not way better. Way more fun. It's not designed that terribly. Just there were much more fun games to play. Am I having fun? I want to have fun, but this... how did I die? That missile. The first two missiles that, or wait, the previous missiles that went by me didn't hit me, and then suddenly that one hits me. I'm running out of space. Hang on. Sorry about that, I forgot to delete some footage earlier and, uh, ran out of space. Alright, so back here again. How did I do it? How did I do it when I was so... not drunk? No, I need the speed to go at the speed of sound. Whoa, that's a lot of quick missiles. Fucking, fucking lags! Uh, this game is so poorly optimized. Uh, oh, fuck! What the hell? This is the first screen! Or the first few seconds! Oh, fuck me. 
Should have taken the bottom. Oh, I game over in like a <laughs> first minute. Oh, why did I not? How come I wasn't able to hit the one on the bottom? Why? Why didn't I go low enough to hit? <laughs> come on! This is a poor showcase of the game and of my skills. But then again, we are playing on Godforsaken hard, and this game is poorly optimized. Come on, come on! Oh yes. Now you have no chance. Didn't even have the courtesy to destroy that. Okay, that was a good shot. I got three of them. Oh, nice shot. Oh, now even my shots are affected. Oh. Yeah, you can't block missiles. Don't know if that was obvious. Go scout ahead for me, because he's my helper. He's very helpful. I don't know if this game is trying to encourage... My god, it's just lagging because of those, like, moving, shifting platforms. Hmm, this weapon seems to do a lot more damage, or at least it's hitting a lot more than, uh, say, the other weapon I had. I just realized the missiles, like, the, the, the ground missiles I'm shooting, if it hits something in the air, it just, like, uh, it just drops straight down like a pile of bricks. Damn the power-up. It got in my way. Stupid power-up, you made me look bad. Oh, huh, I wonder if I could have crashed myself. All right, boss. We're back here again. I should give myself some more space. The only problem is, the only like, hard, difficult part about this is that I can't quite shoot my uh, beam at the thing without, like, you know, having so many other things that uh, come at me. Oh, no! Come on! I beat this mother doctor before, I'll beat him again! Lagging, lagging, lag, lagging game, you did too many things. Yeah, it kills it a lot, kills those things a lot faster. I don't know what's the deal. Oh, look at how much stuff is on screen. The Super Nintendo can't handle this much crap. And I also heard that the R-Type series have a bad habit of this happening, too, where it's just like, it has so much stuff, it's just so overloaded on it. Okay, this time I'm not picking that power-up up, just to test the theory. Do you see this? It's killing things so much faster. Maybe I shouldn't even bother with the other power-ups. It certainly is not as fast. Oh, speaking for the ship, it's not. Yeah, I hate shoot 'em ups where you have the ship's speed needs to be upgraded. It's incredibly annoying, and it's just it's just incredibly annoying. And I know like games like Gradius did that too, but some games did it better, some games did not. Missile dildo to the face, sizzle. You heard it right here, missile dildo to the face, sizzle. Oh, look, I died. Duh, you've game over. One of these days, I'm just gonna sit down and beat this game on hard. And you know what? I'm not even sure if there's, like, input lag on it, because, uh, I am playing it on one of my H... or not one of, uh, on a HD monitor. This game also can't make up its mind on whether it wants to lag the fuck out or, or just, like, fucking play at the right speed! Now I can't even get past the simple, like, this part. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, depending on uh, what difficulty you play it on, you uh, the better the ending gets or the worse it gets. Of course, Novice just says, like, says, like, you need more training, or you've completed the training stage now, or the uh, difficulty. Now go and play this on hard and rip your hair out. Or have, like, massive stress to your heart. I'm not old. I'm not saying I'm gonna get a heart attack, but, you know, this is pr pretty disheartening. Uh, let's let's switch to the, the, the bouncing laser beam. Actually, this might be a bad idea because it's not that strong. It's cool, but oh, okay, it just automatically like sets me to the thing. Wait, I might be able to protect myself though. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh my god! Fucking hell! I don't want to play this game anymore. Why do I still have this fucking game? Oh, I guess it's until I beat it. I don't want to rage quit on something that I should be able to beat. And because it gives me infinite chances, I'm going to keep doing that. Man, this is like ghost this is like ghost and goblins, except just more insulting. Yeah, I'm gonna put on the same level as ghost and goblins. Infinite continues, you, you die a whole lot. Just, yeah, it's ghost and goblins in space. You got lives that well, ghost and goblins had checkpoints. And you could take two hits. And actually. It wasn't really that hard either, except for the second level, which they call level one, because you start at level zero. 
Man, I was doing so good on that, like, when I was, uh, done while drinking. Like, I, I had, like, four lives at one point, and that's what, like, without dying a single time. I think I'll just have to beat this, like, second boss the normal way. And by normal, I mean just, like, keep shooting at it a whole lot. Yeah, so now I'm just gonna keep shooting at your- Bob, I need to watch out- I need to watch out for that random beam. As random as it gets- Look at this boss! He just throws so much shit at you that it's- The fight's just really bad. Don't huddle up against this boss's chest. Apparently she doesn't like it. There, that was very- that was much more subtle. This game is not impossible to beat, it's just fucking bullshit. Oh, now we're back here again. Hmm, I wonder am I gonna die again? <coughs> oh my god, I was trying to watch out for those fucking balls! Oh my god, I should, I should throw this game out the fucking window. But hey, I hope you guys find it entertaining. Because then, you know, it would be so worth it. Like, that's all it takes to make it worth it. Oh, I wish I was playing Dardius Twins. No continues, but hey, at least it was fun. Oh, I didn't kill him fast enough. Come on! Why am I making such simple mistakes? It's because this game's... Oh, this, is, this, is, this game just fucking lags. Why didn't he fucking die? I know I'm talking about my ship game, you fucker. Yeah, your music's pretty good, or it's pretty nice, but it's not nice enough to like keep me interested. There's being difficult and then there's being like fucking bullshit. Are you telling me that first shot didn't hit that fucking guy? What the hell? What is this what is like what is like destroying my concentration aside from this fucking game? You'd think after like the, the third death I'd would have not have to die at this, like, at the early parts of this. You telling me that didn't hit? Oh, fuck you. No, you fucking piece of shit helper. You're supposed to protect my butt, and that's what I'd order you to do. Jeez, you sure took a while to get back to me. Don't give this ball a cell phone. It'll take forever to get back to you. All right, we're back in. Well, am I going to beat this, beat the boss this time? Piece of shit! The inconsistent frame rate on this. Did I say my butt was a priority? Oh my god, fuck this game! Dog, fuck this game. Not making progress! It's getting so bad that I didn't even think that was a threat. No, 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 you know what? Fuck it, I don't care anymore. That was super R-type. It's a super pain in the ass. I don't recommend it. Especially if you want to achieve, like, the best ending, just... No, fuck it. You, you need, like... You need so much patience, it's, it's ridiculous. It's just... You know, like, fuck the people who made this game. Just, just fuck it. I don't recommend this game. If you want to, you know, not frustrate yourself, go play, like, other fun games. I mean, at its core, Super R-Type is a pretty decent game. But thanks to poor optimization, making it... causing it to lag, a whole lot and like go and speed up at certain sections. It's just like fuck this game. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Showcase Sunday Showcase. This is this is Wizard 100. You're the viewers and I'm the reviewer. So stay tuned for more. Gotta go play some better games. Hey guys, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want more than you can see here, be sure to check out my Facebook and Twitter for updates on reviews and videos. And if you want to help me out, I have a Patreon account. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my YouTube channel and join my Lazy Rook Legion for more video game content for you to watch. Such as the videos I'm showcasing right now. Be sure to give a like and comment for feedback and check out my site LazyWorks Creations and River City Gamers for more content like mine.
Today's video recommendations is... JC583's Battletoad Sub-13 Speedrun. Is it more frustrating than Super R-Type? Check out the video and find out! Links to all that goodness is right in the description, or click the annotations if you're watching on YouTube.